Bitwig Studio video for you here where we're going to talk about how to take advantage of all of the filters that are built into Bitwig Studio, not just these devices that come right out of the box. So right out of the box, we have the filter and we also have the ladder. So those have been here from the beginning. You probably know how to work with these already. But when they brought in Polymer, they introduced a couple of new filter designs and it would be great to take advantage of these as well. So we're not gonna go through and talk about the differences of them. We might do that in a different video, but we're just gonna talk about how we can gain access to them and work with them, not only on audio tracks, but also with instruments. And I'll just talk about how to set that up quickly using the grid. So here we have an instance of the polysynth and we can see that the polysynth just has these default filter modes, absolutely fine. You can work with those, no biggie. But maybe we want to use one of those other filters and see how they sound versus just what's right out of the box. So to do that, we'll bring in an instance of the grid. And from there, I can pop it out and we can see that we have these different filter options here. There's probably an easy way to like put all of these in here and then add a selector. I don't know how to do it. I don't really care because I can get to it just as quickly by saving presets. So we'll use this one here and then we'll go ahead and just connect it up. And it's really as easy as that. So we now have this filter connected to this instrument. Well, it's outside of it, but we can bring it in and I'll talk about that in a second. So there we have it. Now, what I would recommend, and before you save this as a preset, go ahead and just like close this down, open up this window, and then close it down like that. So the preset will open up in this way so you have access to everything you need right here. We could go ahead and bring this into the effects section here, and I guess I'll put it before the compressor. And now what's great about having this built into the instrument is that I can take advantage of the modulators that already exist here. <laughs> So maybe I'll put this one onto the resonance a little bit, bring our resonance mount down, and then I'll take this one, put that onto the cutoff. And now let's take a listen to what we have. Maybe I'll put this on the cutoff too. That's an interesting one. So pretty cool, right? We have access to this new filter. We can choose the different modes, whatever. We can also just bring this up if we want to, to make selections up here. Either way works totally fine. So then from there, what I'd recommend you do before you set up anything additionally, just in its default state, you can right click and save the preset to the library. So I've gone ahead and done that already with the three that I want. So I'll just show you how they then come in. And so you can see my three different presets here on the right. You can, of course, then move them into different collections and things so you can grab them quicker. But if you know what you've named it, you can just probably type it in very quickly and get what you need. And I might change this name to low pass as well, even though it has different modes, just so I can bring them all up at one time. And then I could go ahead and try and, and bring something else in instead. <laughs> and just find what I like. So quick Bitwig video for you on how to add those filters from Polymer into your library using the grid. I know it's not the most advanced setup in the world using the grid, but you just may not know that you can do this nice and easy and just expands your sonic palette a little bit. All right, thanks for watching, bye.